Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a Christmas DIY for you. Uh, we are gonna make a countdown chalkboard thing, Christmas themed thing. Um, I saw this on a few different websites, but I did get my printables off of Pinterest and I will show you the materials we need. I'm going to use one of these frames. And if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, you know, I was working on figuring that out. Um, I actually have these in on hand, uh, perfect size for what we need. It's a canvas board and then the back is like a purple and the front is canvas, it, sort of like a canvas. Yeah, so I grab, I have these on hand. Um, a little pair of screwdrivers. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Clamps I'm using from the Dollar Tree. Fix all adhesive. I have this, for this one, I've got green, red, and white paint. Oh, plus black chalkboard paint behind me. I just haven't got it out yet. Um, maybe a ruler. Some paint pens, paint brushes, and a pencil for the materials. And what I've done is I printed this off. Now this is a free printable from Pinterest. And honestly, you can put this in a frame and just use a dry erase board marker. This is what her, her point was. You print it off in color, put it in a frame, and do the dry erase marker to mark the days till Christmas. But I wanted to do a chalk version, so I took this and I shrunk it down to fit my um, project here. And you can shrink it as big or as little as you like. It took me two shots to get it. And that is all the materials and chalk. You'll need chalk. That's a given, right? That's all the materials you're going to need. I'm going to flip you around and show you what I did. Okay, step one. We're going to take this apart. Sorry for the glare. Hopefully it's better once I get it apart. And we're going to take off these um, hangers. Unless you want to hang it on a wall, you could leave them on, but the size board that I'm using, these are going to get in our way. So we're not going to do that. So let's take the plastic off. This piece in the middle, this plastic, I, oops. Um, I just pushed it out. Oh, I just bent that. It'll be okay, but I bent it. So be careful. You just kind of want to push it to pull out this plastic. I won't need that. You can keep it for another project. But let's get everybody laying flat. There we go. We just want to make sure we're flat. It's not held together very well, but that's okay. Screwdriver. Um... You, I guess you could probably like rip these screws out, but I wouldn't. These little kits from the Dollar Tree are great because a lot of times, I think they're magnetic too. Yeah, they're magnetic. Who knew that was a thing? Um, a lot of times the different stuff that comes from the Dollar Tree will require screwdrivers, especially like lights and things. So I just have a set, took it off. You can keep that for a future project. Um, this is the back side, so I'm not too concerned. Here's the front. Now, I took this board and I turned it over because this side's a little rough and I want it smoother. And I did two coats of white paint on here. And what I'm gonna do is just do some penciling in here so that I know where to do my drawing. And then I'm gonna, at the end, I can go over that pencil line with some green or a different color. Now, we've determined that this is the size I want to use for this, right? And I wanna make sure everybody fits where it needs to go. So I think this is a good place for it. This is my carbon paper. Remember, if you don't have carbon paper, you can take your pencil and just color the whole back of this and then take your carbon paper and trace. 
Um, pencil's good. I probably will end up using a pen to do this so we can all see my lines, but it's irrelevant. So I'm just centering this in and then I'm going to trace this out. Okay, so we outlined everything for a rough draft. And that's what's going to look like. And then we're just going to go in and fill it all in. So the first step that I'm going to do is paint my green hand, the red, and then this I'm going to color in in black with the black marker, the words down here. Um, this is going to get outlined probably in green, but you want to paint in first before you go outlining all the things. So we're going to do some painting here in just a moment. Okay, so we've got all the base paint down. What I want to do is seal this. See, you can already see I'm getting some dirt from my hands in here. So I'm going to wipe this up and seal it. And then I'm going to come back and paint the chalk paint in there. So give me a moment. All right, we got it all dry and sealed for right now. Next step is to put the chalkboard in. And you want to seal it before that, for sure. And with the chalkboard, you want more than one coat. So you want one coat going one direction and the next coat of chalkboard paint after it's fully dried. So, and this one looks like it might take more than two coats, but that's okay. I'm just showing you here the first layer. And then I will show you um, how I'm going to glue it together. Because I can do that while this dries. But for right now, I'm putting one coat in. And we're going to let that dry. Okay. Got it? Got it. Now... The way we're going to attach those together is on the back of here, we're going to take our fix-all adhesive, and this is from the Dollar Tree. If you have E6000, you can certainly do that as well. But what I did is I went all the way around with the E6000 or fix all, whatever you want to call it. You just really want to get it a good coating of it. You can let it sit in the air for just a few minutes to get kind of tacky. And then you want to line this up. The good thing about the fix-all opposed to um, hot glue is you have time to move it around and make sure it fits. And then you want to put your clamps on. And you want at least four. If you don't have four, or if you have more, I think you could get away with more. There we go. So now this is holding the back onto the front, which is awesome. And you want that to happen. And then the last step that I will do while that is drying is I'm gonna go around the entirety of it with this black paint pen is what needs to happen here. I tried doing it beforehand. Unfortunately, that did not quite work. 
and I like it that you see the red arm kind of going out underneath. So there is the Grinch version of that. He has to dry and I'll finish the chalkboard paint. The other version I did was for a co-worker. We did Nightmare Before Christmas. This is something that they enjoy. Now I'll show you the last step, the very last step. This one is all dry, but I gotta get the chalk. Okay, so everybody's gonna get a piece of chalk. The two people that I'm gifting these to, my kids are nieces and nephews, cousins, they're all beyond the countdowns like this. So, oops. We're gonna take two pieces of chalk. Each family will get one piece of chalk, and I just put it in a zip bag for them. So a piece of chalk, a display easel to sit it on, and I will bring you downstairs and show you when this is all complete, when, they're, when the other one is dry for the families. But what needs to happen is you have to season your chalk board paint because if you don't, it won't act properly. So you want to draw in with a piece of chalk. It's just called seasoning it. I do a really good job of kind of mushing, oop, broke it, mushing the chalk in there. Kind of in both directions, just like the paint. Get down in there. And somewhere here, I dropped it. I have the cloth. Just take it off. And you'll see it's a little gray, and that's okay. But watch. Now, when you want to say, what? how many days till Christmas? 25 and then the next day you wipe that off and do 24 but that is it that is how you do it like I said I need to wait for the other one to dry and then I will take them downstairs and make a pretty video and show you the finished product and our finished product, don't look at my circle on the Days Till Christmas Grinch one. I didn't do a very good job <laughs> getting a round ornament on that one, but that's okay. So here's what they will look like. Each person, like I said, will get a piece of chalk. The little ornament stands up or the sign stand up and you can mark the Days Till Christmas. I think these are totally adorable and would love one if I had little people. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you and have a good day.